Kmart. No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. You should have left Mr. JR from the NOLA with the comb over on the internet when he posted y'all business on social media, honey. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Leanne's Corner. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am getting through mine. I am getting through my day. Y'all, it's been a rough few weeks actually. Um, these past few weeks have been crazy. Um, recently found out that my mom has breast cancer. They caught it super early, so I thank God for that. So she's going to be a-okay. She also just had a surgery done and they sent her home and after a few days they readmitted her back into the hospital because there's not really any complications going on with the surgery. They just want her to not be in so much pain because the pain should have eased up by now. But so far everything is looking good. The pain is starting to ease up a little bit. It's not as much as she would like but we're getting there so yeah anyway y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss a video don't forget to be active in those comments and share 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 my videos with your families friends haters innovators and all of those good people okay so we got miss tamar braxton tommy lee and jeremy robinson I just think that it's funny how all of this got started because of Christian Rock. Just for it to not even be about Christian Rock anymore. Like, how did we get here? So not too long ago, Christian Rock and Tamar Braxton had this little scandal going where Tamar Braxton had invited Christian Rock to one of her concerts or events or whatever. And Christian Rock showed her ass and I'm just not understanding why everybody's surprised. When they do it all the time on live. So why are we surprised? What made you think, Tamar, that you was going to be able to change this grown-ass woman? This woman is set. She is set. She is liking the coin. She's loving the coin that they're making from showing their asses on Zeus Network, Instagram, Twitter, and all, all these other networks. So why were you so surprised, honey? So... Friday night, Tamar Braxton was down at the House of Blues in Orlando, Florida. And Tamar had to let us know why she was down there. That bitch, I had to go back and get my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. Away from that crackhead. And the crackhead that she's talking about is Tommy Lee, y'all. The shade. And I'm like, Tamar, like, why did you have to go there? Why you could just leave it at you just had to go get your man back? Not crackhead. I had to go get my man back, y'all. <laughs> If y'all thought I was gonna let my man go because he took some crackhead to a basketball game. <laughs> no man, that was not my man. He don't owe me no loyalty when we broke up. Shit, I could have went out with his homeboy. What's up? <laughs> it's all fair game when you broke up, bitch. Don't get it fucked up. Good man, Savannah. Aw, Tamar, this is not Tyler Perry's house of pain. If Jeremy from the NOLA with the comb over wants to entertain people who allegedly indulge in those type of activities, then let him. Tamar, girl, you aren't supposed to enter through the exit stage left. Come on now. You're a Braxton, not a beverage. You can't quench everybody's thirst, sweetie. As you can see over there with Tommy Lee, no pun intended. So I guess after Tommy done seen the viral video of Tamar calling her a crackhead, Tommy decides to take to the internet to respond to Tamar calling her a crackhead. And she says that it was that what she said in Jeremy's DMs. And she only did that to compliment him because she honestly liked how he wears his suit. He looks good in the suit. And I'm like, girl, what am I? Come on, girl. Come on. Jeremy is not all of that in the suit. Let's be real. 
Let's be real. He's clean now. Don't get me wrong. But he ain't all of that. He want all of that. Tommy, come on. We know you weren't interested. Come on. He don't even look like he your cup of tea. Barely look like he Tamar's cup of tea. Okay? Let's be real. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Okay? So, <laughs> then she goes on to tell Tamar that she wasn't feeling him like that. Especially when he took her someplace and he paid for a hotel room with his reward points. Like, girl. <laughs> Stop picking up Mr. Jeremy. That's how the rich stay rich, boo. That's how the rich stay rich. They ain't got to rob Peter to pay Paul to try to maintain this lifestyle. Okay? So don't be picking on Jeremy and his points. Because I'm a chick. They like to use her little points, too. I don't give a fuck how much money I make. I am going to use my rewards. Give me my points. As much money I spend up in this bitch. Hell yeah. Give me my damn points. Okay? So, then she goes on to tell Tamar that she wasn't feeling him like that and that Tamar needs to check him because Mr. Jeremy over there at Shady Patty, he talked too much. And I kind of figured that he talked too much because when he came out and made that statement about them breaking up, it was like, dude, like, what is up with people coming to the internet to let us know that they're not in a relationship with somebody else no more? Like, that is not cool. I found that weird. I found that odd. Break up and move on. But this is what Tommy Hands say now. Let's get into it. So all I said was, hi. All I said was, he had a nice suit. And from there, he was thirsty. He wanted to fly me out. What's wrong with me going to a game? What is wrong with the situation is that that is your man, as you call it. That is your man. He knew it was a situation with me and you. And he was down. He was down to play op games. I wouldn't take nothing like that serious, my love. That nigga ate my ass and I sent him on his way. It wasn't the, I don't know, middle class house that he lives in in Atlanta. It wasn't the Bentleys, cause I drive a Rolls Royce that got me. It wasn't, uh, I don't know, the slick part thing he got going on. It wasn't none of that. It was when he paid for the Waldorf and points, I knew that I could no longer play this game. So it was a one night thing. He never got no pussy. One thing, JR, you never want to play with me. You don't want me to expose how you were saying that you kicked her out and she went back to her mother's house. Not Mrs. Braxton. Not Mrs. Not Mrs. Mrs. Singer with the sold out tour that JR also told me was flex. It was a cap. It was she flexing. She don't have no soul. That shit between me and you was his exact words. The tour not sold out. He said you was messy. He said you went back to your mother's house. He told me a lot of things that he shouldn't tell a stranger. I just met this man less than a week. Love, if that's your man, as you say, then you need to check him. You need to really check him and check your situation and really see if you're sleeping with the enemy or not. I am not your problem. I don't know you. I wish I was drunk. I wish I was drunk right now. I wish I was drunk. Because, nah, fuck that. I'm about to post your shit, JR. I'm about to post your motherfucking shit, white boy. I try to just let you eat my ass for the motherfucking slaves. For the slaves, bitch. This Hawaii calling me a crackhead? I did it for, the, for us. For us, bitch. I don't fuck pink dicks. You got me fucked up. Now, I'm about to post your shit. She should be supporting you. Yes. And then when he went after her, then she came out with a comment. Of course. Yeah. But I, I haven't, I mean, between you and I, and talked to Tamar and... His favorite words, between you and I. When I said I didn't want to be with her. Oh. She's been trying to get with me ever since. Oh! She's been trying to get with me every fucking day since. Kind of corny ass nigga, bitch, yeah, please. Nah, you know what I'm going to do to you, boy. Sit on your head. We did. Um... But the, the sad situation is like we're black tamar i could say your name i know i'm not a crackhead i live too well baby and i've never indulged in drugs i don't have to keep saying that y'all gonna run with whatever but we're two black girls letting this this i'm not even gonna say the race or whatever play with us like tighten up tighten up my girl I'm not your issue. That nigga's your issue. And sleeping with people like that and trusting them, this be the problem. Y'all be sold for the nigga and then want to, yeah, we had an issue. Yes, I'm going to play with you. I'm going to play with you. But once I seen the severity of the situation, I was like, damn, this is kind of fucked up, actually. Because I'm at home right now with my man 
and we laugh together. We don't give a fuck about this internet shit. And he would never talk to you. Now go kiss him in the mouth, ho. <laughs> and here's my thing with Tommy. Tommy knew exactly what she was doing when she slid into that man's DMs. You had every intention for it to go the way it did. And for Tommy to sit here and come to the internet and say all of that, that didn't make you look cute either. All of y'all look crazy as hell, if you ask me. Because Christian Rockner came to y'all house and stirred y'all pots and went back home and resumed to her traditional program. And for JR from the NOLA with the comb over, you're not off the hook either. You were wrong too because I honestly think him and Tommy planned this just to embarrass Tamar. And then for you to get back with her and confirm that Tamar chased you down until you gave in. Because that's what that post gave me. Like, that's embarrassing. That's not love to me. Because I don't think that anybody that loves somebody that they're with, period, are going to put their business out like that and make them look and then to add on top of that that he gave you fellatio in the ass like girl bad like cause he just makes Tamar look bad Jeremy talked too much for me first you go on the internet to say that you broke up with Tamar and then you go to the game with Tommy Lee and allows her to broadcast the fact that y'all are at the game together. If he was a stranger, why did you let him eat your ass? And Jeremy, you can't sit there and say that you didn't know that them two were ops. And my thing is, y'all motherfuckers are too damn grown to be on this internet showing y'all ass the way y'all showing y'all ass. Drop y'all comments down below and let me know what y'all think and I will see y'all in the next one.